So I was scrolling through IMDb, as I do, for fun, and I came across this new Marvel movie coming out next year called Thunderbolts Asterisk. I don't get the asterisk part. So anyway, I was going to watch the trailer, but then I thought, wait, no, maybe there's some valuable information of some kind that I could share with YouTube if I watch it with them for the first time. So I'm going to play the trailer, and I will pause it whenever I have something that is potentially interesting to say. So sit down on a couch somewhere, and uh, let's watch the Thunderbolts trailer. I click leave on porch. Your subordinates will be reported to DoorDash HQ. Alexi, it's me. Open up. Milena? Oh, man! Ah! Milena! Hi, Dad. Sorry about the wait. Uh, it was an important call. Highly classified. Lot of work, lot of work. Many irons in fire. You feel fulfilled? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so full. So filled. But why do you ask this? What, uh, what brings you here? I like the uh, yellow Marvel Studios logo. That's pretty cool. There is something wrong with me. In emptiness, I'm just drifting, and I don't have purpose. I thought throwing myself into work was the answer. That explosion was pretty sweet. It looked like a simulation on a 3D building. So I'm going to take a second and rewind to look at these muzzle flashes again, because uh, they looked really nice. Oh. So there were a lot of sparks in that one, which is really interesting, so I don't know if they were trying to do like a tracer round looking one, or if it's supposed to bounce off the wall. No! You see some really good muzzle flashes. It looks like they may have had on-set illumination because it's reflected really well in the sides of the room. Beautiful set right there. When you feet on the air, your head on the Okay, so that was really, really cool. Looks like they they threw a knife through this character, and the character flashed and disappeared and caught the knife in their hand, which was really neat. Oh, oh no. Who are you? Uh, I I'm, I'm Bob. Who sent you, Bob? Nobody. Were you all, you were all sent? Everyone here has done bad things. Those lasers. Those lasers are so cool. Shadow ops. Robbing government labs. Contract kills. Yeah, so? So, someone wants us gone. What the hell? We're brought up with this belief that there are good guys, and there are bad guys. Some more, uh, really heavy muzzle flashes. That there are good guys, and there are bad Uh, I don't see as much onset illumination here, so I don't know if this was just comped, but it looks okay. Guys. What's the plan? This could get messy. It's hard 
to say there, but that looked like it could have been a practical vehicle flip, which would be really sweet to see some behind the scenes of that. Hopefully they have a good behind the scenes release of this film. Eventually, you come to realize that there are bad guys and there are worse guys and nothing else. Look at you. So adorable. She's bulletproof. Whatever the bulletproof! It's bulletproof-ish! Ooh, good explosion there. Here, we're gonna rewind and watch that again. <laughs> Whatever the bulletproof! It's bulletproof-ish! That looked like a stock footage explosion. So you see, when you uh, do an explosion in a movie, it's either going to be a stock footage asset, usually, or a simulation. Now that one appeared to be a stock footage asset just because of the way that it, it faded out really fast in a really crunchy manner, as you can see right here again. Now usually simulation explosions are much smoother and more cloud-like, and that was really hard and gritty. Is that Bucky? That's not good. Now that last explosion looked like a another stock footage explosion, which is looking really nice in this desert environment. That's not good. Anyway, that was a really cool trailer. They had a lot of good comedy elements, storytelling, drama, all that. Now I'm going to go and compose my official response to this, and I will be back in just a moment. Okay, so after going through the trailer, these are my overall thoughts. The premise of the movie, mercenary anti-hero type characters being hired by the government, seems like a neat idea. But mostly I'm just excited to see Bucky, Yelena, and Alexi in a movie together, because, I mean, they seem like fun characters that would have good chemistry. First impressions of the visual effects. The muzzle flashes all looked very good, which is to be expected of an action movie, though bad muzzle flashes are more common than you might think. It appears that they did actually use a practical light on set, or just use blanks in the shots shown in this trailer. That building floor explosion sim looked fantastic, not too smoothed over, and very well integrated with the rest of the shot. The explosions in the desert towards the end also looked very good, especially for what appeared to be composited elements. Ghost's teleportation style effects looked decent, but not that interesting. It'd be cool to see a little more brightly colored glitching and some practical glow. All in all, this looks like it's going to be a very well done and fun action film, and I'm excited to see it when it comes out next May. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I did, and I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions, so put them in the comments below. As of right now, I upload filmmaking concept videos, like this one, on Tuesdays, and technical tutorials on Fridays. That's two whole videos a week. So if you enjoyed doing this with me, please consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next one.